Isaac or his male. Christian scholars apply their investigative techniques to biblical stories and usually defend an evil action of some biblical figures. But when it comes to Ismail, then this is another story. There is no sense here to investigate who wrote the story of Uber and Ismail. If Jay wrote that Judah got a birthright, and he claimed that the birthright went to Ephraim, and Jay and E were from the twelve tribes of Jacob, the son of Isaac, can anyone expect good words about Ismail, the brother of Isaac, from any writer? Ismail was the firstborn, and of course he was denied his birthright as in the above stories. Any reference to Hagar is accompanied with such description as the maid and the Egyptian servant. The entire blessing and the praise went to Isaac. The angel of the Lord told Hagar that Ismail would be wild man. His hand will be against everyone and everyone's hand would be against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Genesis 16, 12. Recall that Aaron got much more disrespect when he was accused with paganism in the golden calf story. The honor of ultimate test of obedience, Abraham sacrificing his only son, was given to Isaac instead of Ismail, Genesis 22. In fact, it was Ismail who was about to be sacrificed for the sake of God. Ismail knew what would happen to him and he surrendered to the will of God. So the writers of the Bible took the honor and praise from Ismail. In Genesis 17:20, God said to Hagar, As for Ismail, I have heard ye, behold, I have blessed him, I will make him fruitful, I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. This verse states clearly that Ismail is blessed. God also said that his children would form a great nation. This great nation is obviously the Arab nation that started in the Saudi Peninsula. Also, God the Almighty left us with a formidable miracle that no one could take away from Ismail and his children. In Genesis 21 17-20 God's angel came to help Hagar and the baby Ismail when they were thirsty, and God allowed Hagar to see a well of water. So Hagar went to the well and filled her bag with water. Then she gave water to Ismail to drink. Now, what is this formidable miracle? This referenced well still exists in the Paran Desert in Mecca. Since the time of Abraham, that well never dried. Every year millions and millions of Muslims still drink from the well. It is called Zanzan. The Saudis added compressors to the well Zanzan to lift up more and more water. This living miracle has existed for thousands of years. All the miracles of the Bible disappeared, but the will of God for praising Ismail still defies time.